Hello everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to my afternoon tea time in a card. I'm just going to give it a few seconds for everyone to find me. I'm so glad you guys are here. I want to thank everyone for all the, the nice comments you've given me for welcoming me, uh, welcome me, I can't talk, welcoming me back. That's a, a tongue twister uh, to doing videos. I took about a four month break from doing videos and I'm so glad to be back with you guys. So tonight I'm going to be creating a card fold with you that was new to me. It's a card fold that I saw on Split Coast Stampers. But before we get to that, I do have a couple announcements. Um, September 1st will be the perfect partners, the dies. We have six new dies coming out. I've been advertising this a lot, so I'm sure you guys have seen. Um, these are only going to be for a month, so September 1st to September 30th, or while supplies last. So make sure you get in on your favorites. Now this week I've been featuring the Playful Piggies dies that go with um, the Birthday Piggy stamp set. I wanted to show you, let me move this over, if you haven't seen my cards. These are the ones that I featured so far. I think I have six days worth that I'm going to be showing you. And this was the one I featured today. Let me get this underneath. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what you should see tomorrow because this is my favorite. Out of all the cards that I've made, this one is my favorite because I had to do something with a little red wagon. I'm going to take it out of the cello wrap. And I added a couple more die uh, sets to go with this. I saw a similar card on Pinterest and I did my little spin on it myself, but look at the cute little red wagon. I colored with a black marker, the black Stampin' Blends marker. I tucked some trees behind the wagon and I also tucked some trees behind the little die cut trees. So you'll see this tomorrow. It's my favorite. And as I've been doing all week, I've been putting all of the steps to create all of these cards. Um, I have this one tomorrow and I got one more that I'll be posting. So you'll have six ideas to draw from. So let me set, uh, set these aside. And the other announcement I have, um, I'm live on my Facebook page right now. So you guys have seen me post about World Card Making Day. This is the first year that Stamping Up is doing a live event. Anybody can join. It's not just for demonstrators. It's for anyone. I did put the link on our Facebook page. If you can't find it, let me know. Just message me. And if you are watching this later on YouTube and would like to join us, um, these are the three stamp sets they will be using. You don't have to have these. Um, it's just a suggestion. But I did place my order for the first two and I wanted to show them to you. Now this one here is going to be a new stamp set from the upcoming mini catalog. We get to order early. So anybody that registers, you'll be able to order this um, on September 1st. So the first one is the Cottage Rose. Let me bring that in. This is what the stamp set looks like. And then you also have the dies. There's eight dies on this one. So that's stamp set number one. The next one is cottage wreaths. You can see there's a lot of beautiful wreath images. And again, we have, I ran out of magnet sheets, so I still have these on my paper, but look at all the wreaths, 22 dies in this set. And because I ordered this to go with um, World Card Making Day, they sent me a package of iridescent pearl basic jewels for free. So you get these for free also. And because I was um, getting ready to order all these, I decided to add the designer paper. It's not something that we need for the class, but this is called Abigail Rose. I just wanted to show you the beautiful patterns and I'll be using this paper to go with the stamp set. So you can see that there's some lined printed flowers that you can color but this paper is beautiful soft muted colors look at this one and you can color these with watercolors 
uh, pencils or your blends markers, your inks. I love this one. Just a couple more. Look at the beautiful flowers on that one. You get the stripes, the flowers, and this is the last one. Now, let me, I need to check something out because I just got this order yesterday. I'm wondering if, okay, I thought maybe the dyes would cut these flowers out, but they're not. Okay, that's all I have for news. So now we're going to get started. And like I said, if you need the link to register because uh, registration opened on the, I think it was the 11th. We have all month to register for World Card Making Day. So again, if you don't know where the link is and you need the link, let me know and I'll send it to you. Okay, now for tonight's card, I'm doing a card fold. I'm using the Hello Harvest stamp set. And that I'm not using the dies tonight, but those do come with these pretty pumpkin dies that have embossing on them. This is just a spare one that I had. You can see all of the pumpkin pieces, the banner, it cuts out the banner, the leaf beautiful set and I'm also using the rustic harvest designer paper this is the sheet I'm using tonight now I used this last week and we talked a little bit about this sheet you could actually cut this down in half at six inches and then cut four inch pieces to use on card fronts you could actually make six cards with this and let me show you what the other patterns are I don't have a full sheet of this one. I, I used most of the yellow one. This one has little swirlies all over it. And I know some of you guys saw this last week, but I might have some new viewers tonight. And look at the pretty pumpkins. And if you turn this on the back, everything is black and white. And again, you could add color to these pages with your inks or your blends or watercolor pencils. Okay, let's get going with the layer. I'm going to show you the layers first, and then I'll show you the card. So here's a piece of that designer paper. Now, because of the way my card sits, I wanted to make sure my butterfly was on the left, the top left hand corner, and you'll understand why. This measures three and three quarter by three and three quarter. And while I have this piece, I'm actually going to cut it in half diagonally. So that will be all set to go. See how the butterfly it needed to be here so that it didn't get cut in half. So there's that piece. Basic white, four and a quarter by three. Here's that yellow designer paper. Five and a quarter by three and three quarter. Now these two are going to go on the inside and then we have two pieces that measure four and a half by three and three quarter. I've cut out a circle with the layering circles dies. One and seven eighths. And then I have a scrap piece of Mary Merlot I'm going to cut right now with the decorative, uh, decorative circle punch. So I'll get that ready. I love the shape of this circle. It's one of our newest punches. And then the Mary Merlot, did I cut this yet? I did not cut this. Okay, so I need to cut. Let me get my paper trimmer. So we're going to cut this. Eight inches on the short side by 10 and a quarter. So the only pieces you cut off are these two little strips. You can keep them for something else. Then we're gonna go back to the short side and cut at four. So we're going to have two identical pieces. And let me bring the card in so I can show you. Oh, and I didn't, I didn't mention the gold shimmer ribbon that I'm using also, and it does shimmer, so pretty. And my two inks are Mary Merlot and Mossy Meadow. I think that's it. Okay, this is the card. You can see that there's a ribbon that holds it closed. We're going to open that up. 
And this is called a triangle trifold card because these actually are triangular flaps. And when you open them, it opens this way. See how that closes? The triangles fold and meet in the middle, and then you just tie it up into a bow. Okay, so let's get going with how we're going to score this. We're going to score both pieces at five and a half. And my next step, now these are actually going to be glued on top of each other. I'm going to bring in a pencil. On the right hand side, it's easier if you put this together like this while you measure. On this side, we're going to measure four inches from the corner in and make a little mark. So this one is on the bottom. The left hand side, you're going to measure from the top. Now I'm going to bring my scoring tool back in. And remember how we talked about, I have a dark line on the six inch mark, which works perfectly for this because I'm going to actually go diagonal. I'm going to find my pencil mark in my corner. We're gonna go diagonal. We're gonna do the same thing here. So pencil mark in the corner. And what I'm going to do just to make the folding easier, I'm just going to use one piece on the non-scored, the five and a half inch side. I'm just going to cut off a smidgen. And what I mean by a smidgen, a smidgen. This is about a sixteenth of an inch. It makes a difference. Now we're going to take the one that I just cut, the smidgen. You're going to add adhesive to the back. And we're going to line that up almost even with the score line. I kind of, I'll show you, what I do is I lined it up so that the bump is still there when you're folding. So this is going to easily fold. And there is a little space in the middle. I think I should have moved it just a tiny bit because my space is a little too much. I'm going to move it back to all the way to the score line. Okay. Now I'm going to use my bone folder. So you can see that opens like the one I showed you. We'll do the inside first. We're going to glue this yellow designer paper. And then I'm going to stamp. Now I didn't open this earlier to see what stamp I use, so I need to dig this one out. I couldn't remember what I used in the middle. We're going to do the sentiment with the Mary Merlot. And then you know what? I'm not using the right ink. It's not Mossy Meadow. It's Shaded Spruce. Scratch the Mossy Meadow. I'm going to bring the leaf in. And I'm actually going to stamp twice to get a lighter image. I'm going to do that a couple times. And there's my leaf. So now we can glue that in the middle of the card. So that'll finish off the inside. And look how pretty that yellow just makes all the, the other colors pop. It just makes it so pretty. Now we're going to actually fold this, bring in the little butterfly layers. And I want to fold this close just so you can see how it sits. So this one's going to go up here. And it's actually even with the inside edge right here. So you got a quarter inch around the two sides. 
We're going to do the same thing with the other one. Okay, so there's the front. Now we're going to do this piece right here. So this opens up. And the only thing I did is I lined this up so that it was a quarter of an inch on uh, both of these sides. And I'm going to add a mark right there. I'm going to bring this in and go from the pencil mark to the corner. We're going to glue that one in place. See, there's not much measuring. Everything is done as you go. Okay, this is going to go right, so it goes right on the fold line. So there's that piece. Now we're going to fold this over and do the other piece. We're going to turn this around and do the same thing. So right here. And I bet you guys thought this looks complicated, but it's really not. And you can save these to do like on a card front. You could use it on the bottom. You know, put a white piece right here and then put this on the bottom of a card. So nothing is wasted. We all know that us stampers don't waste anything. We like to use every little bit and piece. Okay, now this is going to go on the other flap. Okay, so there's my two flaps. Now let's go ahead and stamp the sentiment. We're going to do the hello right in the center. And I didn't want my leaf to be too dark. So what I did is I inked up my stamp, stamped on scrap first, and then I did my leaf. So it's the so the sentiment still shows. We're going to glue that in the middle of the punched layer. Now let me move these. And what I did with my ribbon, so we're only going to glue this on half, on one half of the flap. I added a little bit of tear and tape there so that my ribbon would stay secured. And I pretty much went halfway. Just a little piece across. And we're going to take this off. Oops, I almost forgot to add my ribbon. Now this ribbon is about 18 inches long. I'm going to make sure I leave enough on the end so I can tie it. So I'll press this in place. And then we're going to add dimensionals. And what I did is I added dimensionals on the card front instead of on the circle. I just added three like that. That way it's easier to position and you don't get any that goes off. There's my hello. Now all I do is wrap this around the front and we're going to tie that into a bow. See how easy this was? I'm just going to tie that into a bow and I'll leave the other one open so you can see the inside. And I will draw a name tomorrow from all the comments from my video on Facebook, not on YouTube. By the time you guys see this on YouTube, the drawing will have already be held. And then I'm going to trim my ends at an angle and that's it for my card so let me go ahead and open this one up so you can see the inside what it looks like and there's the one that i just finished so i hope you like my video this is called a triangle trifold card and again i use the hello harvest stamp set and the rustic harvest designer paper so thanks so much for joining me everyone i do have a, i think another card fold for next week I'm, I'm working on that right now. So have a good night, everyone. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you again next week. Bye-bye.